In February 2002, several reports of unusual murders surfaced. Each report included detailed descriptions of the body. All the victims' bodies had been found in small, dark, and humid areas. One victim was found in a condemned public restroom lying sideways on the mossy, tiled floor. Another had been folded into a seemingly impossible position and stuffed under the kitchen sink of a small, rural house. Each of the body's heads had been stripped of flesh and were burned. Police were unable to identify them. However, on examination, they found that each victim appeared to have no wounds or scars besides the head, that is, except for the stomach. The stomach on all of the victims had been ripped open and drained. It showed signs of bursting. None of these, however, was as strange as the seventh reported murder. The seventh victim was found lying on her back in a dark, muddy corner in Minnesota at 3.14 a.m. Her head was only slightly charred, leaving hair and skin attached to the skull. The body's stomach was open, allowing thousands of tiny insects to crawl out. In the victim's hand was a spoon, and the insects were reportedly earwigs. These murders have, after further examination of the bodies, been reported as suicides.